battle for cash. Last week on the battle for cash, teams visited a model farm and were later sent to four different farms to make assessments and recommendations to improve productivity. In the end, one investment club was eliminated. Sorry as I am to say, but this is the end of the road for you. Battle for cash. In just five weeks, we are down to our top 12 investment clubs, still in the running, to win 30 million, 20 million or 15 million shillings. Welcome teams, you are the top 12. It's good news or it's bad news, depending where you're going to be at the end of this all. Lots of cash prizes, of course, for those of you who want to learn from others, the study tour to Nairobi and also one year of business advisory services from PricewaterhouseCoopers. That is all good news, but that just means the investment club right next to you could also be your enemy. So, so far I know that you are in teams, but uh, as you've noticed, some of your comrades have left us through elimination. So the level field is not balanced. We need to sort of eh, tip the scale so everybody is equal. I have three envelopes, which means at the end of this all I want, three teams. The teams have been reorganized into three. Team one comprises of Hakuna Mchezo, Kina Sako, Yolwa Farmers, and Kawempe Women Poultry Group. Team 2 comprises of Oyster, Elite Social Investment Club, Kasamvu, Mvara Wad. And Team 3 comprises of Agri Investments Kibbutz, Cape of Good Hope, The Corporates, and Endi. The new teams have to come up with new names and a new team leader. Are you confident about your leader? Dangerous substitute. <laughs> okay. So these are your envelopes for this task. Good luck, teams. Please. Tonight, the teams face another difficult task, signing up new investment clubs. But before they embark on the task, they are equipped with knowledge about investment clubs to get a head start. The trainer and guest judge is Martin Mwezi. Now, there are so many groups outside there that are saving, that are collecting money, but they are not investment clubs. So this is something that you need to understand, that an investment club is a group of people with common interests that come together primarily for saving and investing. So it is very important in our investment clubs that members are saving continually because saving is actually the blood if we are if if the investment club is a body the saving is the blood that is helping the body stay alive and moving nutrients everywhere without members contributions the club will die like how you die if your blood stops, stops flowing look for good investments set up an investment committee where all the investments go through ideas. Not everyone can make a decision on an investment. So all this, all investment ideas go through them, they filter them, they research, and they come up with a conclusion. And if the investment committee is very active and prudent, you will make profit. And when the profit is made, don't forget to reinvest the profit, because you're growing to a certain target. This club has to reach a point where it now starts taking care of you instead of you taking care of it. Reinvestment, then you will see the growth. So this is the story of an investment club. And this is why every Ugandan should be part of an investment club. Because as Ugandans, we have the lowest savings to GDP ratio in the region. And why is that so? We have a poor saving culture. When it comes to consumption, we are experts. If you give any Ugandan one million dollars, within one week I can assure you, they can find ways of finishing it completely. <laughs> and even they will be in debt. They will be in debt. So we are very good consumers because we consume on a daily, right? Remember, a habit is something that you do consistently. If I give anyone here 50,000, the first thing on their mind is, how do I spend this money? <laughs> No one is thinking, how do I grow the money? 
So an investment club is going to teach us how to change that mindset. In this task, teams are DFCU ambassadors and they are supposed to convince other people to open up DFCU investment club accounts. Confident that they have the knowledge, teams embark on the task at hand. As with every task, the contestants have to brainstorm and come up with a strategy. It's 10 a.m. and Team 3 starts brainstorming on ideas. In just 30 minutes, they have to have a strategy ready. On the other hand, Team Gladiators under the leadership of Kina Sako and Team Billionaires under the leadership of Elite Social Investment both rubbish the idea of brainstorming. They all head out without a proper strategy. The gladiators have a planned route that is Boaise, Natete, Chibuye and Nsambia. The billionaires aimlessly drive around until one of the members gets a lead. You know we are the descendants of Tim Ryan. Uh, what was Tim Ryan about? Tim Ryan yes, since yesterday already had, had been doing a, a digital campaign has been doing a digital campaign, marketing, DFC investment clubs. So, already we already have contacts, people were asking how can we form an investment club. So, we are actually following up on those people in our contacts. The teams are all terrified about this task. They just don't know how they're going to get people to open up investment clubs in a matter of hours. 30 minutes and the winning team is heading out. Their destination is Wakaliga. The winning team led by Remy has a rough start. They need the grace of God to make it through this task. So they pray. One, two, three. Winning, winning team. team. <laughs> Re-energized and determined, the winning team starts the battle of recruiting clubs. So mama, investment club. Yeah. Investment club which we are going to be in a charge of the city. Now, when we change our saving, we are going to be saving. 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 No investing, or no the cigar. But cigar is a cola magoba. I know no damn no mutelica magoba, it's on a musiga. Winning team has spread tentacles to include stay at home clients. The chairman and members sensitize clients, and they have good knowledge of the benefits of saving to invest. To better to know your bank at the Tobacco Gura account, it's been at your face at your room. Next, it went to the Nabanga in the gas for the age, it was dead to Limo, it was dead to Agada, to Gamma Sensors of the Savinga, to Genda Cora Mochi, as a Chivina, the teacher to Batu Cola, Natural Chitua Dobzu, to know Nature to Cora Sensors of the Nava to Wamagas, Church Kuveno, never bang a move day, Namuzen, Namugan, look to Yam, Fewa, Ava Soke, Rock to give our one see, Nayava Soke, Kabatan, the Kilwa. Nabanga, Twa to Jacoba joining, Oxoka, a Missomo to Jetaga, and Teleka to Jetaga, two Teleka to Manuku Teleka, Nayo to Teleka to Kozechi, Ah, Katumani Kuzaza Kakati, Aw, the Nabanga and Pise. Teams are using all means possible to open up investment clubs, phone calls, WhatsApp, social media, footwork, border borders, you name it. Finally, light at the end of the tunnel for the billionaires. Battle for cash. Battle for cash. Right now I'm heading to Kapa Parents. I want to help open up some investment clubs. Yeah. To recruit as we have been instructed according to the task. Students, teachers. Teachers, I'm focusing focusing on teachers. Break time is already done, so we have to wait not until lunch time. So I told him to stay around 
talking to other teachers because we realize very many of them are interested but they want to know more about that product and for purposes of time I presume that Tim should be going to other places we'll come back for him later yeah Ronald of Kasamvu was left at Kampala Parents School to sign up a few teachers clubs time has passed so far and he has signed none investment clubs investment clubs this group is called the gladiators group we singa yegendo kuba ewangu de mutaskien tusobola kugula wa account hb nacho no chigula wa account ne dfcu banka techeta ga registration techeta ga certificate techeta ga abula bajja bikolako the account earns interest so we beriko sente eriko insurance eyo muntu banga afuddo be chintu chonna ne bitebere bilinga ngebi osofu na account yeyo ne dfcu banka singo boso bodde cheta ga semitwale 5 na abantu abasobola kubanga basa ininga ku kapuromo genda ku mundu gotate kisetese no mugambo waye gula wa account atenga ino soko teka mwaka sente kale kya bade cheta agisa soko tu ayo akili academy tu waita mu abantu baba mtu basanze nga tukanda muna de cha muna daluli abamu oloku baba tumanyi ne bakirizo olwecho okubanti batutegera atene balaba na wawe tutuse kuwa dfc we tutusi za kati Singa mbadde mu ine chibina wanonga aba boda boda ni mwekola muo muli mungate musu kabana I mean ngate muka wansi wabana aba muli 10 oba asatu oba no ba 5 aba bameka ne tubali gesteringa ne mitwale 5 joka temugenda na kweta gabya certificate sibya constitution bino na bagenda biba kolera ko I was given a wonderful team these people they are so hard working they are so they have the energy they like what they are doing and I believe we are going to win this thing uh, We've gotten a few challenges. There are, as we have been trying to register members, this side of Zambia, it started raining immediately. But that wouldn't stop us. Still, we have continued with what we have been doing. So these people, they have showed the courage. They have showed the energy they have. They have, they have showed the determination they have. Even rain couldn't stop them from taking on the activity they have been working on. It's possible. So right now we've reached here to in our investment club. You think you are doing events? Eh? Buying chairs, it is all up to you. Eh? Eh? Me, 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 a feminine me a youth group where I am, me, me, Eh? Now you say, me, send the deep man up in my, those top leaders, eh? Eh? Me send him Bella, but me, Philly, the follow up they can do it here up to come uh, to Arua, or I don't know what they will follow you up. But what is very important, I'm very happy because you have accepted this shortest information you are able to open an account with the FCO. Hello, we are, we are going to California bus terminal. Yes, a few people there. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, at least one person. One person. Yes. Okay. We, are, we are giving you uh, 20 minutes. Okay. 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 Once okay. 20 minutes are done, yeah. whether you have got them or not, at least report here. You report oh, here. Okay. We are at Ar Arua Park. That's where we are stationed. A few members have gone up to try to look for clubs and yeah, the chairman is trying to follow up on the other members like they are really battling out, things are tight but they have to make it, yeah. <laughs> Okay, right now we had come to Kalerwe Market to get some customers. We have got one who we have noted, we have written down. Now we are going back to the center because there are some other 
customers who are coming in to sign up. Time check is 3 p.m. and all teams have made it back in time. But have they made the numbers? A post-mortem with the judges follows after the break. Battle for cash. Battle for cash. The dreaded time has come for the teams to face a post-mortem of their activities. It'll be the last day one investment club participates in the battle for cash. Team Gladiators goes first. Is this the Team Gladiators? Yes, sir. You are most welcome. Thank you. And uh, we are looking forward to hear your experience on uh, selling investment clubs. We had outreach sites, and these were Waise, Natete, Chibuye, and in Zambia. We had to, to bring on board uh, around 17 new investment clubs. We managed to come up with 800, 850 Ugandan shillings. Definitely, as we were on the ground, we faced some challenges. And among the challenges we faced, one was poor attitude by other community members towards saving, and the others we were even chasing away with the camera. We had the, we faced the challenges of li limited time. Rain disrupted us when we were carrying out our activity. Last but not least, we experienced trap to jam. The clubs that you recruited, were they already formed? or they formed new ones there and then as you are selling this service? Most of them mm -hmm. were already there. You talked about bad attitude. So what you're talking about is that they are groups. We have many groups mm -hmm. that have been formed, either saving or investment clubs or circles. Mm -hmm. Where was the bad attitude coming from? Is it attitude to saving, attitude to formal structures? What was the actual problem? Thank you. The bad attitudes we, we are talking about here was basically on saving. People preferred to have their money mm -hmm. at home than taking it to the bank. While leaving the premises, going to the field, what was the target that the group had set out for themselves? What target did you set out for yourselves? We had a target of 16, and each individual investment club among us was at least to have four. So you say you'd set out a target of 16 investment clubs? Yes. Uh, divided, uh, and that each club was supposed to bring you four? Yes. Would you, in the next two minutes, just take us through performance of each investment club in the number of clubs they recruited? Okay, thank you. Akuna Mchezo, they made a lead of up to six clubs. Kina kwekula kula nyasako, we made a lead of up to six clubs. Yorwa made a lead of up to three clubs. And the women's police uh, made a lead of up to two clubs. I just want to ask um, Kawempe police, women police, uh, in the group, you actually were bottom of the league with only two accounts. Yes. What happened? Uh, we began from Waise, then we headed to other places. Uh, the other members were trying to organize. If you come back, we were caught up with time. Otherwise, we had as many groups as possible who were still I mean, waiting to get photos and the rest as we come back. Otherwise, that is how we were caught up with time on our way back and jam. Who was the weakest link in your team, based on your view as a team leader? Uh, the weakest link... And, and why do you say so? Uh, what I would say, <laughs> it's quite a hard task. But this gentleman, out of 10, is getting a 6. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Then this gentleman, he did the work very well, though he had a problem of the language. But out of the 10, 
is getting a five. Mm -hmm. This gentleman, Akuna Mchezo, is a very good mobilizer. This one is a good in writing. Out of the ten, he's getting a seven. Mm -hmm. This Munyaneza Ronald is also good at mobilizing. Out of the ten, he's getting a six. This gentleman is a good mobilizer where he used even to call teams from Tororo mm -hmm. to join. Is getting a seven. Uh, this lady, out of the ten, is getting a five. Even this one, out of the ten, I can give a five. Though they recruited a few teams, but at least they were active wherever we could go, trying to look for these clubs, at least they added onto what we managed to get. Thank you very much. Um, that was great. We are proud of you. Thank you. Actually, if you send me out to get 19 clubs, I don't know whether I could come back the same. That was a very, very good job. We'll get back to you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Team Gladiators walks out hoping that the other teams did not set a target higher than theirs. Reduce our 20 our investment clubs, but we managed 18. Up next, the billionaires. Whether they have done enough to secure a place in the competition for all the team members is left to be seen. Billionaires Investment Club, you're very welcome. We'd like to hear the strategy that you employed and the results that you got. Our strategy was to look for potential clients uh, with potential of saving, those ones who are, who are already making money. Uh, we are targeting billion-minded clients, not just clients. And where, whom we are we targeting? We are targeting people in employment places. So we went to Kampara Primary School. We are targeting marketplaces. We had gone to the market. You know these are descendants of the Ryan. We had gone to Karelwe Market. We had seen some potential clients who could form investment club. Uh, traders in Arua Park, because our group has people who could do easily convince them to form investment club. And at the end of the day, we are able to form 11 investment clubs. Uh, what target did you have while you were going out? We are targeting about 15 investment clubs. About all 15? 15. 15? Yeah. And you came back with 11. Why didn't you exceed or why didn't you hit your target? Uh, why didn't we uh, hit our target? Mm. Uh, we, we've learned the you know, making an investment club is not a, a one-time activity mm -hmm. because it involves people coming together and sharing a vision. So we are, we are able to preach the message, but uh, our clients, maybe some of them, we are not having money at that time. Mm -hmm. We had clients who said, yes, we are forming an investment club, but we don't have money right now. Okay, so just so you help us understand who brought what to the table, as a leader, as is always the norm, you're going to have to um, score each of your individual members. Um, I will give Oyesta eight, um, Vora eight, um, Kasamvu six point five, okay. and then a light, yes, and then a light, a light nine, and that is that's the team on? leader, yes. <laughs> that is based on what? Mm -hmm. On the number of clubs they brought in, on their behavioral competences, on, uh, on their skills to sell. What's the biggest factor that you're using? One, their yes. contribution to the strategy. Much as uh, I'm being uh, told that uh, you know you were the leader, whatever strategy we came up with, mm -hmm. it was uh, a collective and agreed upon strategy. So, um, members contributed to the strategy. Oyesta contributed to uh, the designing of the strategy that we, we used. So, 
but for now we wish you all the very best. The third and final team to present is the winning team under the leadership of Remy from Agri Investments Kibbutz. The winning team, you're very welcome. Thank you, you are given a task to recruit clubs. We want to know the results, the strategy, what you did, the challenges. And our objective was to engage starter groups and register a minimum of 20 investment clubs by 2.30 p.m. because we are able to return, to have returned by 3. Our strategy was therefore identifying organized groups such as circles, the Neginas, the savings groups, and youth groups. These have a significant difference from investment clubs because these are just keeping money. So we had to sensitize them about the difference between investment clubs and their savings group. The second strategy was targeting group employees, company employees, and businessmen around downtown Kampala. The third strategy was engaging our investment club members to mobilize and register investment clubs up country. We first visited Mengo, we went to Wakaliga, we went to Bira along Michana Road, Lugogo Bypass and ended in Chikoni. And we engaged 32 groups. Out of the 32, we are able to register 29 investment clubs. I think that deserves a, a, a round of applause. In the journey, we experienced some challenges where one of the groups that we engaged came, but they were expecting a handout. So we have that handout problem in the community. They came, but they were expecting money from us. So okay. as, as a leader um, of, of the winning team, yes. please tell us about your team dynamics. Do you feel every person pulled their weight? Do you think everybody contributed what they were meant to contribute? Were there people you felt were drawing you behind instead of mm -hmm. pushing you forward? Maybe you can tell us about that. Okay, this, is, this was a new team. And it is always, you know, sometimes it is challenging to work with a new team. Mm -hmm. But the best has to be straight. Before you go in the field, you have to agree on what is going to be done. So we had allocated time to each group. And w w whenever you, someone would take a lot of time calling someone to be present, we agreed as a group that, no, your time is up, so we are setting off. Mm -hmm. So yes, w it was very dynamic. But they knew it was a competition, and we were not competing among ourselves, but we were competing with other clubs. What would the rating of your team be on an individual basis? If you had won a game, mm. you still have to assess each player. Okay. Now, starting with the gentleman at the back. I would give him a nine. His idea of calling people abroad, like up country, was also innovative, and having t members try to convince them. I would score him 8.5. I would score him 8.52 and a 9. This gentleman here. Uh, I would score a mom 8 and him 7.5. For He tried to talk to four guys, but they disappointed him because of the journeys. Some got here at 5, so he couldn't have them. But I would give him a 7.5 because of the effort. It's not about the result, but the effort he expressed in the field. Yes. And then I, I don't him? remember. Yes. Nine. And I'll give myself an eight. Okay. I, I like the subtle approach you're taking. <laughs> but collectively, um, winning team, much appreciated. Thank you very much for executing the exercise flawlessly. However, we'll get back to you in terms of the final verdict. For now, all we can do is wish you the very best. Thank you very much. The judges have listened to the three teams and now deliberate. And while they deliberate, let's have a look at some home winners of the battle for cash. Younger James uh, from Masaka. I'm here for battle for cash, as you can all see. I emerged uh, to be one of the winners, and I want to thank God for that and DFCU Bank. And I also want to appeal to all uh, the fellow youth uh, there that they can win. And let them take this opportunity to, to really battle for cash. This season on the Battle for Cash, you too can be a winner. This is how. Do you have a product or a business that you are working on? 
Pitch that idea in a 30 second video and send the video to this WhatsApp number. The top three pitches will be posted on the DFCU social media pages for people to vote. The winner will get 400,000 shillings. This money will be wired to the winner's DFCU bank accounts. Welcome back and uh, congratulations once again. Uh, you remember I told you that you're all winners. Group one, which was the gladiators, you brought in 19 clubs, club for yourself. Group two, the billionaires, brought in 11 clubs. And group three, the winning team, brought in 29 clubs. So that makes group three the top. Congratulations by far. You did a very good job and uh, we'll be assessing each one of you. But generally, I'd like you to note that teamwork was very important. I will also talk about the gladiator group. That's the one I'm going to give feedback on. Uh, as judges, we felt that uh, the roles weren't well distributed. Mr. Abdul, where are you? You were quoted saying that you gave the secretary role to a person because he knew how to write. That is not a good reason for you to give someone such an important role because documentation is everything. If we didn't have history in our books, we wouldn't be able to learn from the past. So giving someone that role because they know how to write well or they know how to write, I didn't, we didn't feel was very worthy of giving someone a very important role like that. So it is very important that the roles are given to people who have the capacity and ability to take those up. On the positive side, the other members were active. Hakuna Muchezo, team, thank you very much. You did a very good job in recruiting and you brought the numbers up. You are the stronger team in the group. So generally, the leadership we felt was good, but it could have done better. And uh, you did well. Billionaire Investment Club. Um, so you, you set out, you set yourselves a target of 15 investment clubs and you managed to get 11. Included in those 11 was an investment club made up of yourselves, which you called Battle for Cash Investment Club. So that one, zero effort, you were all together. But you went to a whole market, Kalwere market, and you told us that you talked to chicken traders only. So you went to a place, and from what you said, actually, you all went. You all went to this market, a market that has all types of vendors, from Atoke vendors to the fishmong fishmongers to, to the butchers. But you, z you all concentrated your efforts to talk to the chicken traders. And out of the whole market, you got only one club. That to us was dismal performance. It was actually poor performance. One of your members went to a school, Kampala Parent School. You spent time at the school, wasted hours, and you came out with nothing. You tried to talk to the teachers, and you didn't recruit even four teachers to form an investment club. Again, that was poor performance. Now, when you go to a place and you try to sell, if you spend your first five to ten minutes, you know whether it's going to work or it's not going to work. Time was not on your side. So why spend so much time there? Um, it seemed like you lacked leadership or clear direction. And allow me to shed light to an investment club that, for lack of a better word, has exceeded my expectations. And this is a winning team. For any team to actually win, there's a fine line between winning and whining, and that is based on the people. So first, the mindset has to be clear that against all odds, we are going to win. And from the word go, it was clear that the team was destined to win because the strategy was clear, the people 
were all engaged. I mean, a 30 minutes brainstorming session where you don't go to the uh, war zone without a clear plan was eliminated when we all had, you all had collective effort in putting together a strategy. And you know, a strategy is good, but it boils down to execution. When it came down to execution, each of the clubs brought something on the table, at least with each club averaging over five investment clubs. And collectively, it is no wonder that you're in position to actually put forth 29 clubs. So I want to say um, great leadership from Remy. But if you forget whatever it is that I'm telling you, remember these words, thumbs up, epic performance, well done. Proud of you. Well, that was feedback for purposes of learning. And we'll ask you to get back to your comfort zone. And we will get the weakest links back onto the stage. Unfortunately, one of you has to go home today. So, who is the weakest link? As you may know you are the weakest link in all of the clubs, the final 12. There are some mistakes that you made. Some we think as the judges were obvious mistakes. Yolua Investment Club, please step forward. Your appreciation of the task at hand. The task at hand was to bring in as many investment clubs as you could. But specifically, Mr. Paul Ocheng, you played the role of treasurer among the gladiators. The reason why you were given the, the treasurer role was because of language barrier. But that said, even as a treasurer, mm -hmm. you're in a competition. This is a battle for cash. In any competition, you're here to win. Language barrier or not, you're not fighting for the prize. You're comfortable where you are, mm -hmm. and that is not a good thing. At this point, allow me please request Kawempe women group to kindly step forward you you do not perform as the others did and i remember your team leader vividly saying that you lacked in terms of social capital kasamvu and elite please step forward i will start with kasamvu he went on to emphasize i other than we in the training we talked about teamwork. Whenever you're in a group, whenever you're a leader, whenever, and you remember, I'm not talking about a leader in terms of you being head of a group just, but we have self-leadership. We go away from ourselves and embrace the group. Kasambu, we have had a history of you in one task, going away with products, less communication to the team, coming back with a loss. We are here in the very same task, going to Kampala parents, spending time there with less communication and coming back with only one investment club. Elite, you led well. You're very enthusiastic. You made a great presentation. But we also think that you have a bit of some characteristics like Kasamvu exhibits. Leadership and management is also a soft skill. When we talked about rating yourself, you gave yourself the best, and yet you brought in only one investment club. For us as judges, we looked at it as me and me and me again. Kasamvu. Being the fact that you belong to the least performing group, and you're also one of those that brought in the least clubs. The journey ends here. We wish you the very best. Thank you so much for participating. The rest of the groups, Yolwa, I think you need to do something about zeal, about enthusiasm. Elite, can we see the other member of Elite somehow? Kawempe? Pull up your socks. Pull up those socks. We want enthusiasm, we want energy, we want effort. Thank you.